Um, Save My Own Forest as a collective was formed about eight months ago. And we've done eight months of really hard labour to try and stop logging in Moan Forest. We've had, you all know about the petition that we collected, um, raising about 1,600 signatures that was tabled in Parliament. We've done as much awareness raising in media as we've been able to do within our small group. We've raised nearly $90,000 um, to make a financial offer to the government of the net income that they will receive from logging this forest. Currently, we've raised about $70,000 of that target. It's been a huge, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have sent numerous letters, particularly through our local member, Barry House, to have a meeting with Mia Davies, the Minister of Forestry. She refuses to meet with us. We have sent her emails, we've sent her requests for information, we've sent her department requests for information, and we're not getting the information. They are refusing to dialogue with us. It's been an extremely frustrating campaign because the government is just refusing to actually engage in discussion with us. This week, the government will consider our petition in the Standing Committee of the uh, Standing Committee of Environment and Public Affairs. Um, we're calling for a comprehensive public inquiry into the logging of Moen and a moratorium on logging until that inquiry is completed. We don't know what the outcome will be, but while they're taking their time coming up with a decision about that, the trees are falling, this area is being logged. And in the last couple of weeks, the most beautiful and precious part of Moen Forest has been logged. Um, this is an area in cell 18, which is over here. It's an area that abuts the old growth forest part of Moen. There's a small area that has been designated old growth, and it also abuts a, nat a nature reserve. So it's been very devastating for us to see the best and most important habitat trees of this area felled while the government basically gets their shit together. It's been a very, very frustrating time for us. So we are a small group and um, what we really need are numbers. We really need more crew if they can to be involved in the organising of this campaign. Whatever skills you have, it's useful. If you know how to put together a website or, put, or use social media, we'd love you to be involved. If you're interested in having a stall in the middle of town to get people to make small donations to our campaign, you're really useful. If you've got some time to come to a meeting and take minutes and then post those for our group, that's also really useful. Anything that you can do to be part of this campaign is, is a great contribution to how we as a community can rally together to stop the logging of Moen. We're also seeking some final pledges so that we can reach our $90,000. Um, internationally acclaimed author Ben Elton has pledged $5,000 to our campaign, which is remarkable. Yeah, it's a clap, I reckon. Uh, one local community member, he and his family, a young family, pledged $10,000, wow. which is huge. So, you know, I don't want to make this all that money, but um, we are very close to reaching that target. As soon as we reach the 90, a delegation will go up to Perth, knock on the door of the Minister or of the Premier or whoever will have a chat with us and thrust forward a cheque and ask for, <laughs> ask for this area to, to, to stop logging. And, um, and that's a very deliberate strategy because by, by presenting that very dismal amount of money to save this area, it's, it's a way raising awareness across the state that it is totally economically inefficient to log 1,600 hectares of our forest for what you would pay for a tiny, tiny portion of land in Margaret River.